Welcome back guys. You know when you see videos and they have that cool glitch text like this? Well in this video, we're gonna find out how to do that in LumaFusion. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Okay, let's jump into the iPad. So here we are in LumaFusion. We're gonna use this clip of a forest. Now to create the text, we're going to go down to the bottom, we're going to click the plus icon and we're going to choose Overlay Title. Stretch that out to the same size as the clip. Double tap on it, select text. We'll just write Glitch Text. Now we're going to go to frame and fit and we're just going to move it to where we want it. We'll just bring it down there to the lower third. Back in the timeline. So that's where the text is on the clip. Now we need to duplicate that text. So we're going to go down to the duplicate button. And then we're going to zoom right in so that we can see the frames along the bottom of the timeline and we're going to move along one frame at a time and we use the slice tool and just slice on each frame and just go along like that slicing on each frame and something else we can do here is if we go down to the tick icon that will enable us to select all of the small clips which was created. And then going down to the clipboard icon, we can copy those and paste them. Now we're going to double tap on the first clip, we're going to go down to frame and fit, and we're going to move it slightly. Then we're going to go to Colour and Effects, we're going to choose the original colour preset. Scroll down to the bottom and we're going to use these sliders to change the colour of the text. And we're going to repeat the process on each one of those small clips. So down to Frame and Fit, move it about slightly. Over to Colour and Effects. Choose the original colour preset, scroll down to the bottom and move the sliders to change the colour. So we just repeat the process for each of those small clips that we've created there. And the end result looks like this. And that's it. If you have any questions at all, ask me in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.